Welcome back, everybody. Back to Back Out of the Case. This is Skyflight 44, aka Zect 44. And today we're playing more this game. Ugh. For some reason, I love how all of the um, dwarf places look. However, I hate, hate, hate the dwarf enemies generally more than any other enemy in the entire series. All of them suck the most. There has to be something spawning more dwarves here. Not there. Where are these? Ah, so much for friendship. Never trust an elf. Yeah, never trust a dwarf. At least if you have a good amount of money. Or you tell them that you can do better at smithing. Actually, now that I think about it, can the hammer actually knock enemies back? Nah, I bet it can't. Good, I don't lose that one. How much farther? Not too far. Go there, and then that's where the game ends. So close to the final part of the game. Those are very short elves. They must be the new recruits. <laughs> oh, somebody finally notices. Come on, destroy the dwarves. Ugh. Okay. I have to go all the way back. I don't like that idea. I really don't like the idea of having to go all the way back. We'll go all the way back. Because seriously, it's just freaking padding at this point. I had such a higher... Just... My opinion was so much higher the original time I played this game. I... I know exactly why I don't like this game. Because I'm playing it all the way through, I can see all of its little bugs and all that crap. And well, ugh, why is it making me do this? Oh, oh crap! More dwarves! I don't like the dwarves. Now, if I actually had a bit more mana, I would probably just make this go a bit quicker. Yeah, screw it. Hmm. And this is it, pretty much. Crap. Get 
Can't knock those out. Okay. I'm not seeing any dwarf places where the dwarves are going to continue to respawn out of. At least that's good. Except if they just open that and they come out of there. <sighs> Trying to block me. I don't like any of you dwarves. Yeah, screw all of you. And with that, I'm gonna just sacrifice some minions. Continue on. This is the last place, finally. Hmm. So that's water. I don't like water. We're gonna have to go back! Fuck. <sighs> okay, I'll just take in two more. I'll just take out. If I can find them. Hey, cool! exact place I wanted them to be. Now, definitely gonna be wanting to have my blues. I mean, this is final battle, so we're definitely going to need to go and use these guys. And until we can get all of them up there, or we need them, we're just gonna have to do this. Come on, Blues. I don't feel like killing my minions. So you tried to sneak in here, trying to mess with my nubbies, eh? Well, we'll have none of that, boy. -o. Yeah, I don't like that. Careful. Screw it, I'm just gonna put them all away. Suit looks dangerous. Okay, Browns, you go in there. You go in there, and you go in there. With the blues, I'm just gonna take a lot. Not too many. And they serve two of them died. Okay. Or is it four of them died? I'll burn you demons. We're gonna need a few fire Really? I can just get health out of this? Oh, that's nice. Come on, go for fire again. Damn it. Yes. Now I really 
gonna have to just waste a bit. Hmm. So there isn't gonna be one around here. I thought there was a... Okay. You go in there. Actually, wait. You go in there. Bring out a lot more greens. I feel as if this guy is going to be taken out by greens. Next place is probably going to give me... Well, that uh, nice bit of magic. Yeah. Yep, as I thought. Now let's go for it. Mine. Fired up. Now, how am I going to do this? Damn it, I couldn't do that. Damn it. Wait, why am I still using that? Um, yeah, when that ever happens. Come on! Son of a bitch! How, what am I supposed to do, actually do? Here I go. Okay, he finally rams me. And it's definitely not where I wanted to be rammed. He's gonna have to hit a wall, I believe. Son of a bitch! Ah, I d <laughs> this boss is even more annoying. Kill you one way or another. Okay, Frenzy's really good at this.
This boss is really pathetic now. this I know who's behind this scheming streak of dog bun if Grenville and his wet elf boss want a war then I'll give them one and so the elves and the dwarves all went to war the battle raged but the arrogant elves and the stubborn dwarves would not give up or surrender and so instead they handed their grudges down through the generations and would continue to hit each other with sharp objects until one side stopped moving. As for Grenville and Gerda, they eventually grew tired of fighting a war that each thought the other had started. And each returned to Castle Grumgard with the hopes of claiming the family estate. But someone was waiting for them. And they were put to work restoring Castle Grumgard to its former glory. The land returned to dutiful subservience under the thumb of villainous tyranny, content in the knowledge that evil was back in charge. With all his responsibilities taken care of, the Duke was free to continue his quests for fortune, and maybe a new wife. Yeah. Okay, what I have to say about this game. First of all, bosses can be incredibly easy, incredibly painful, if you don't know what you're supposed to do. But, for the most part, this game... This game... They could have did so much with this game, and they just didn't... I don't know why. They could at least put in a bit better side quests and a bit more of them. You have all these places. I mean, not everybody's going to want to go back and do some extra things. But still, just throw some... Like, kill these guys or something. I mean, I'm one of those people that would actually do that. And go and do those pretty much tedious side quests. Just give, just make them flesh them out, please. I mean, five hours. I don't know how long it took me to actually play this one, but my original one was five hours and 31 minutes. Oh my god, is he actually trying to get the witch? What a sly duke. Holy crap, he actually likes the witch. Well, the witch is horrible to children. So, I guess... I guess we're gonna have to do something with that. Considering... The uh, Overlord is definitely... The Duke's son. And so, child. Oh my god, he loves the ladies, doesn't he? Uh, stupid person. Well, this game was fun for a bit. Now I'm gonna put it away, but this game was only worth about five dollars. I probably played this in total about 12 hours, maybe 12 13 hours in total. And it's evilly ever after. Uh, music, so much is just token from Overlord. It's not a rehash, but definitely a lot of this game came from the original Overlord. With a few ideas from Overlord 2, but really, the one of the biggest things about Overlord 2 that really was just so much better than Overlord 1 was all of the ideas that they put into it. The mounts, the better puzzles, the you can be evil 
or just dominate, not be passive good. You can also, well, that the uh, idea of ballistas, um, the catapults, which were actually a lot of fun. Not to mention the um, enemies with the uh, formations. And then if you can break the formation, all of the soldiers would be easily taken out. But if you couldn't break the formation, it sucked because they're so incredibly defensive. And not just that, but one of the few things that they brought into this game, the actual idea of um, spawning area, like spawning tents and all that, that, actually, I kind of like that idea. I don't think that was in the first game at all. Hey, well, I, I, I don't know. Something about this game, it just doesn't click with me, maybe. I don't know. It seems like they took out the minions. They took out so many minions, but they did not take out the health, it seems. Bosses it didn't seem like they had that much health. Regular enemies, particularly the dwarves, had way too much health. And, well, it seemed as if there was absolutely no diversity in the actual enemies that you were fighting, and, well... While the places look different, they acted pretty much the same. I mean, it's all Overlord, really. It's Overlord 1 for pretty much the entire thing. Except for the, well, that um, little gingerbread house part, which I really do like that part. Uh, j just the idea. It was really, it was actually a lot of fun, and especially... It started to tie into the plot, or an actual plot, though the plot in this game really isn't that grand at anything. And just going on, the fact that the Tooth Fairy, Miss T, and the idea of it, just all this fairy tale nonsense in the beginning is just how it twists on it. It's just a lot of fun. I really did like it. However, uh, I don't know. There's just something about the minions in this game. There were a lot of amusing little ideas. Going up the windmill, going and pretty much taking out that bandit on the zip line, um, pretty much getting your ass kicked by bees, all that stuff. That's amusing. But uh, uh, there's just not as much funny stuff that comes out of Naro's mouth. There aren't as many good quotes in this game as they were in Overlord, especially Overlord 2. Overlord 2 was full of them. I'd like to mention this game just half the size easily of Overlord 2 and even Overlord, especially with Raising Hell DLC. Which, I mean, Raising Hell DLC had a lot more complicated puzzles to do than in this game. This game, the puzzles, <sighs> there really wasn't much to it. Over, it's it's still Overlord, but it's shallow. It's very shallow for an Overlord game, especially when compared to Overlord 2. And I, the entire reason I continue to say that is I don't know which one came out first, but they came out at pretty much the exact same time. They were in the same exact um, development, like uh, going on the same development uh, time, and well. You can obviously see which one was getting a lot more of the, pretty much, of the care. I mean, Overlord on the Wii could have been done a bit better. Not so much as the controls and everything, but just the content. Really, that's the only, th the only thing I have against this game. Not enough content. Some of the con- it'll just- some of the content feels as if it's padding a good amount of it. And even though side quests could have been padding, I would have liked padding side quests and content that wasn't padding. But it's a Wii, so what are you going to say? I, I don't know. It's not enough content in the game, too short of a game, but basically everything else was fine. It was actually... The controls and everything for a Wii game, this was great. They could have just put more content in it. So, for 
or actually I could have made a plot to it, a really good one, but for the most part, yeah, this is a pass. This this pass is barely, but this game's basically passing grade for me. Oh well. So, see everybody.